All right, what we're going to look at today is this idea of drawing solid geometry. I've got a, a pentagonal prism over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just label every single corner of this pentagonal prism. Uh, before we do anything else, let's start over here. I'm going to pick that point over there as number one. And then I'm going to go around it. One, two, three, four, five. You can see those things over there. And then those numbers, they are going to be down on this surface over here. So you can see where one is, it links up with one over there. Number two links up with there. Number three links up at the same point as one. Number four links up over there. And number five at the same point as four down at the bottom. On that surface over there, I've got a pentagon. Right, I then come along here and I say, that corner over there above one is number six. Six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Six, it's above number one. Seven is above number two. Eight, above number three. Nine, above number four. And 10, above number five. Right, once we've got that done, our next step is to draw some construction lines out. I'm going to draw construction lines going in both these directions and I'm also going to drop those lines coming down here. Now you'll see that I started out by also labeling this surface over here, okay? Uh, that is called the cutting plane of the solid geometry. Number A, I've placed over there. There's number A and it is on line one six. Number B on two seven. Number C on three eight. Number E, on 510 and number D on 94. Right, you can see all those, those letters over there. Um, you can use numbers there as well. Um, I've just used letters because I think it just helps you to understand that cutting plane. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to transfer the cutting plane onto my left view, which is going to be placed over here and onto my top view over here. Um, the question, if you look at the question carefully, um, they, they say to you that you are to draw a, draw a right view. There's no sectioning done on that right view. They say draw a sectional left view. That's why I'm going to draw the cutting plane there. They say draw a sectional top view. That's why I'm going to draw the cutting plane over there. Right. Let's just move out there. Okay, transferring the points. This is very, very important that you get this idea down. When you're transferring the points, you'll see that I've drawn in an X, Y axis over here along that surface. All right, I'm going to be taking measurements from that X, Y axis to point one. And I'm going, uh, not to point one. Let's do the, the cutting plane first. From the X, Y axis to A. I go along to A over here. I take it across to the new X, Y axis and I plant that down and I label that as A. Just need to find my pencil. There is A over there. Now, without adjusting your, your uh, pair of dividers, come down here, find A over there, come down to the new X, Y axis, and plant A down over there. There is A over there. Let's do B. Let's note where I'm taking the measurement from. I'm taking it from this view, from B. Find B, come down over here, plant B over there and come across over here, plant B over there, and I'm going to label both of those. There's B over there and B over here. Let's do C, same story. Go, find C, come down here, plant that down there, label it C. Let's find C over here. There's C, take it across to the X, Y axis and plant that down there. There is C, same story with D and E. E and E. 
from the xy axis to e find e go to the new xy axis plant that down go to the new xy axis plant that down right the thing that i want you to note with this idea and it's very important i'm not trying to take measurements off the front view thing over here and transfer them over here i'm always taking it from this auxiliary view find the point go to this view over here plant it down all right let's just do that again there's e there plant that down and i have e over there let's just get that right Right, there is E over there. Let's just check that I got that measurement correct. There's E, and there's E over there. That is correct. Right, okay. Um, note this, any measurement over here will be the same as any measurement over there or there, or if I had it in this view, I could take it across to there. These measurements over here, from the x-y axis to the points are going to be exactly the same in those views over there and when we come down to doing what they call the true shape of the cutting plane. Right, once I've got that, with any of these views, the cutting plane is what you need to be able to see. So straight away what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically draw in that cutting plane. I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw in dark lines going through that cutting plane or going on the edges of the cutting plane at least there we go draw as accurately as you can there are lots of marks given to you for accuracy in this game so please work super accurately when you're doing this Right. And as soon as you've got those cutting planes, my suggestion is go straight away and start doing your hatching on them. All right. In the next video that I do, you'll see that I've already done the hatching. I'm going to do a very small, small amount right now. Um, Get my set square, there I go. Use the bevel on the ruler. Take a 0.3 pencil to do your hatching. There you go, go across, and you can get the spacing of your hatching done equally. Right, that is just the cutting planes. Get the cutting planes done, and life will be good for you as far as getting all the hidden detail in the right places and all the rest. Right, I will get the next video going now.